In Cary, North Carolina, we have focused the resources, the staff, and our entire council to fulfill the vision of our citizens. 2019 is a year of milestones in Cary. We're celebrating 40 years of Greenway, 20 years of Applause Youth Theater, and five years since we reopened the Cary Theater right here in downtown. Hi, I'm Harold Weinbreck, Mayor of Cary, and it gives me great pride and pleasure to be presenting my 12th State of Cary Address. And while we're here, why don't we go inside and watch all the great things that are happening here in Cary. We continue to be well positioned with our resources, our staff, and our council to fulfill your vision and highest priorities of the Cary Community Plan. And I'm excited to share with you how we can make our remarkable community even better. Check it out. Our current population is slightly more than 166,000 people across the approximately 60 square miles that make up our municipal boundaries. That's a 2.5% population growth over the last 12 months. And that's consistent with Cary's 2.4% growth rate over the last five years. Cary is now the seventh largest municipality in the state of North Carolina. One of the greatest things about Cary is our diversity. Less than 10% of our adults were born and raised in Cary, and about 20% of our population were born in another country. More than 60 different nationalities call Cary home. It's no secret that Cary is a great place to live. Recently, Money Magazine once again named Cary the best place to live in North Carolina and fifth in the entire country. We continue to receive recognition for our internet connectivity, income equality, housing, and safety. Our accolades are well-deserved in my humble opinion. It's well known that I like to look at the numbers, and yet again, Carrie's numbers are impressive. Let's keep watching. Vital to our community, Carrie's economy continues to be robust as we attract more jobs and corporate headquarters to Cary. For the last several years, there have been more people traveling to work in Cary rather than leaving Cary to work elsewhere. Cary is also experiencing renewed economic benefit from its major sports and entertainment venues as the ACC and National Collegiate Championships are once again being played at venues like Wake Med Soccer Park, the USA Baseball National Training Complex, and the Cary Tennis Park. And national and international acts attract record crowds to Booth Amphitheater. Capital projects continue to make up a significant portion of our budget. Currently, Cary has about $1 billion committed to nearly 400 capital projects. Of those, 59% are utilities, 21% are transportation, 9% are parks, and 4% are downtown. Speaking of downtown, the new Cary Regional Library is on schedule to be completed this summer and open in the fall, along with the seven-level, 600-space parking deck. A proposal for mixed-use development around the deck is in the early stages of review, and we should hear more about that as the year progresses. The downtown park is also moving forward. The national award-winning office of James Burnett is designing the second phase. And at our first public meeting, more than 300 citizens participated. And another 1,200 people completed the online survey. The design firm says they've never seen citizen engagement like it before. And don't forget, the largest development in Cary's history, the 92-acre Fenton development, continues to move forward. Construction should start this year with the first businesses opening in 2020. Infrastructure, especially transportation, is essential for our citizens and our businesses to have the highest quality of life. Several street improvement projects are planned or are underway. The Cary Parkway and High House Road intersection improvement project is nearing completion with the new turn lanes opening to traffic in December. The Carpenter Fire Station rail separation project is underway and long range transportation improvements taking shape include the Highway 64 corridor improvements between US-1 and Laura Duncan Road. If we are to continue to grow our economy and compete in the global market, it is important that old stereotypes of Cary are dispelled. As a result, Cary has initiated a community branding campaign 
Some of you have already taken part in the focus groups and surveys, and you should look for more citizen engagement to come. To realize your vision for the future of Cary, we must continue to make major strides in technology. Cary continues to become a leader in using technology to serve its citizens. Our staff is constantly looking for ways to be more efficient, flexible, and innovative, like our Alexa skill, text 311, and integrated traffic signals. I may be biased in this opinion, but I believe Cary has the best citizens and is the best place to live, and that's due in large part to having the best staff and council. As we move into a busy 2019 full of plans in motion, it is essential that Cary have a strong council. Many decisions this year and coming years will be proposals of infill and redevelopment, which are almost always controversial. Fortunately, Cary's council members are caring, dedicated, and knowledgeable with 90 years of experience. We will continue to come together to address our challenges we can and will accomplish amazing things and continue to be one of the most successful communities in the nation. I'm proud to report on the state of Cary in 2019 and I urge all of our citizens to be involved with their local government and enjoy the quality of life that's recognized nationally as one of the best. The more we connect, the more we're connected. So if you see me running on one of our gorgeous greenways, feel free to let me know what we can do to make our community better. I like what that guy's saying. Thanks for watching.